Oh wait, the manager's gonna say something to us. What's he got? He's trying to get us fired up. We're not dead yet. We gotta win to get a little help too. The only part of that you can control is winning. Let's not bury ourselves. Let's take care of business this series. Oh, we're gonna take care of business. We are down to the last few games of the regular season. The good news is we're playing at home. The bad news is we're playing the Los Angeles Dodgers who have 110 wins in the season. No, that's not a typo. And before the game, of course, they're showing your boy. I don't care about the dude on the left. He doesn't matter. Who's that, Corey Seager? Just kidding, no one cares. Now pitching for us today is Lucas Giolito, who is possibly not the best person to be pitching against a 110 win team. Look at his record and look at his ERA. Fresh. And we've got a couple of cool things going for us right now. I have 59 stolen bases in the season, one away from 60, which would definitely be a career high. I mean, we're already at a career high at this point, but I want that 60th stolen base. And coming up to bat is your boy, obviously leading the American League in average home runs and RBIs. The Triple Crown for the American League, definitely going to get that. For the actual whole entire MLB, probably not because we're 8 RBI shy of the guy who's in first place. But you know what? A couple grand slams here and there and we're probably fine, but we've hit our first one of our careers so we gotta, you know, temper our expectations. Now, the first pitch is here and that's gonna be a deep fly ball. Maybe not enough to get out of the ballpark, but it should be enough to move that runner from second to third. Just kidding. That's, I think Yasiel Puig and dude has a cannon. No, he's not gonna move. And we do find ourselves fortunate with a 1-0 lead here in the top of the second inning. Runner on first base, one out, and we're chilling here in the field, trying to get the second out of the inning. Now Vargas is going to crank on. This one goes deep into our territory. I'm going to go ahead and snipe this one real quick. We're going to keep our, you know, feet planted, get it over to second base, and just chill there. All right, now Corey Seager's up to bat. This time it's the top of the third inning. A runner on first base and one out, but it's a full count to him. So we want to make sure this dude isn't swinging for the fences or anything. And, uh, yeah, he's not swinging for the fences, but that one's going to be kind of close. We're lollygagging, but I'm going to get the out. A little nervous on that. Here we come back. 0 for 1. Look, the fly out. You know we do notoriously bad in our first bat of the ball game. Then we settle down. We get our, you know, emotions in check. And then we're okay. And look, the green booger man, he's ready to get us hyped up. He's getting the crowd hyped up for what's going to be an epic at bat. I'm feeling it. And not much to be epic because there's only a runner on first base and literally no one else is on for us. But still a 1-0 lead and a high fastball that we're not going to swing at. Now for a team that's, you know, trying to fight in first place, playing the best team in baseball, why are there not enough fans in the stands? Like... There's too many empty seats. Where are all of you people at? Why are you not here? So again, one ball, no strikes, runner on first, and one out. This one is literally, I think we hit him in the nuts. I literally think we hit that pitcher in the nuts. How is this man moving? How is he alive? What just happened? Good news for us is a 17-game hitting streak. Bad news for the pitcher is he may never have children. So uh, we're just going to figure out where this ball actually went. So he throws a nice little ball here. We're going to get a hold of that one. And here it comes back. Pretty close. All right, we're on first base. We got a runner on second. There are two strikes in this guy. I kind of want to steal second base, and you know what? We're going for it. Double steal. He strikes out, and this dude runs back. Jan Mankata, why? Now, still a 1-0 lead for us here in the top of the fifth inning. Again, nobody on and nobody out for the Dodgers, but could we actually beat the Dodgers? This is kind of crazy. Now, he's going to swing. Oh, boy, that's cranked. That is deep. That is way back. But not quite to the warning track. It just went super high and not nearly as deep as I thought it was going to go. Now, Yasio Puig's up in the top of the fifth inning with two outs and literally just one runner on. They've had trouble getting multiple people on bases so far today. And this ball's going to go into Puig. Puig is going to crank one. That one's going to be shallow, though. We're going to race to get to it. We're trying to be fast enough. It's closing in. We got it. Wasn't I was never worried. Seriously, never worried. Back up. We got a single early in the third inning. The average is still above 360. We were trying to go for 350 this season. Now we're above 360. There's a chance we could hold this and be okay. Now, here we go. Bottom of the sixth inning. I'm going to try and be a hero and go with my showtime. This ball. Ooh, high fastball. Mm, that's super. That may be the highest ball we've ever hit in our entire career. But it's going to be an out in deep right field. Top of the eighth inning now for Yasiel Puig and the Dodgers. He's going to try to do something to change, you know, the way the ballgame is working at the moment. Now Puig is going to crank one to deep left field. Just kidding. That's over here. Yo, Mr. Ash, you got it? He does. We're back up. One for three. The single. The Dodgers are a good team. Our average is slowly crumbling back down to 360. But I want to pick it up here. And this would have been a situation to use my showtime. But instead, I don't have it. I got two runners on and two outs. We're going to try and go for a normal base hit. Oh, we cranked one to deep right center field. This is going back. Can we get the three-run home run to seal this ball game? We can. That one is deep. That one is out. We did it. 4-1 ball game. And you know what? We point to the dugout. We point to the pitcher. That's ours, baby. That is home run number 45. We're going to bow to the third base coach. Very polite here. Very polite. Again, home run number 45 of the season. 410 feet to right center field. 
What a legend. We are killing it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to seal the deal. The best team in baseball, maybe by the record, but in terms of talent, I think that's going to be us. So despite going 8-2 in our last 10 games, it just wasn't enough. The freaking Indians were incredible. They went 9-1 in their last 10. They ended up beating us out by a single game to win the division. Even with that happening, though, we still ended up getting into the wild card, which is good news for us. But it means we're going to face the Detroit Tigers, a team that we've been pretty good against in the first round of the playoffs. As for my personal stats, I kind of killed it this season. Let's look at how I am so far. I'm a 91 overall. I led the league in batting average literally a single point below 360, which is frustrating. I had 213 hits, which also led the American League. In terms of doubles, I had 40. Charlie Blackman, of course, of the Indians, beat me out by 10 runs there. Triples, I led the American League with 12. Home runs, of course, I led both the American League and the National League. Corey Seager had 41 in the National League. I had 45 flexing the muscle. In terms of RBIs, I had 131, which was best in the American League. Not best, unfortunately, in the National League, but still, if you discount the American League, I definitely won the American League Triple Crown, but just not the entire MLB Triple Crown. I scored 130 runs. I also had 59 stolen bases, one shy of my goal, which was 60 on the year. My OPS was the best in baseball at 1.089, I believe so, yeah. In the National League, no one was close either there. Chris Sale led all of the MLB with 22 wins on the year. David Price had four losses, which was the league minimum. Uh, Russell Iglesias had 50 saves along with Scotty Brazo and Araldis Chapman. All three of those guys killed in the American League. But in the National League, Wade Davis had 53 leading all of Major League Baseball. Your strikeout leaders for the American League were Hugh Darvish and then Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, this dude was a monster this season. He was only 15 and 6, which is kind of crazy, but 260 strikeouts is insane. And again, the thing that I'm most proud of is the wins against replacement for batters. I had a 12.3, which is the highest in the American League. Francisco Lindor had 9.9. .9. And in the National League, Chris Bryant led with a 9.5. So I was the best in baseball. For pitchers, Felix Hernandez was a 6.9. And then the National League, 7.1 for Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, the dude killed it. As for the awards, I'm going to walk out of here with the MVP in the American League. Back-to-back -back seasons. No big deal. In the National League, it's going to be Eric Hosmer. Dude killed it with 31 homers and 138 RBIs. The Cy Young goes to Chris Sale in the American League. And the National League, of course, goes to Clayton Kershaw. The batting title goes to me, 359, best player in baseball. I've told you that before. The Hank Aaron Award, I'm also taking that home. 2020, last season was Mike Trout. This season, it's your boy. Again, killed it across the board. The Gold Glove is unfortunately not going to be mine this season for center field. But the good news is that in the outfield, when it comes to silver sluggers, I definitely took that home. So you guys can look here at a quick look at what my attributes actually look like. 80 for contact, 74 for contact left, power right is 81, plus 11. Uh, power left is going to be 71 plus 11. So all of these stats are actually going to be really good. We flipped over here to the fielding side of things. I've been killing it this year. It was an incredible year. Back-to-back -back MVPs. We're back in the playoffs. Unfortunately, it's in the wild card round. But still, I am anxious to try to move on and win the World Series.